All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Akerele Oluwa Shugo. I'm your Microsoft Excel trainer. This morning, we are going to be looking at how to use form for data capturing in Excel. How to use form for data capturing in Excel. For example, you are given this template to capture all the data, to type all the employee name, their department, status, IR dates, year, salary, and job rating. And you have over 1000 data that you want to input into this template. So typing inside the template, moving from here to here, coming here, typing here also, and going back to the department is very stressful and it's very stressful and it takes you time to complete the template. But if you know how to use form in Excel, it makes your work faster and also fun to do. So we want to learn how to bring out the form in Excel because we can't find the form in any of these tab ribbons in Excel. So what we need to do is to customize a tab with our name and put the form under the tab as a, as a command we want to use. So let's go through the process. All you need to do is to right click on any of the tab ribbons once you right click on any of the tab ribbons you click on a button called customize the ribbon when you click on customize the ribbons these are the normal ribbons we have in excel so you click on new tab when you click on new tab you see new tab custom and new group custom so right click on the new tab custom so you click on rename so I've click on rename so I will type my name should go so I'll click on OK so I've created a tab bearing my name so but I need to go and add some command to that tab so I'll click on new group custom so these are your popular commands in Excel but the one I need is the command not in the ribbon so I'll, I'll go to this button choose command from so it's showing popular command so i want to click on command not in the ribbon like i explained earlier on that form is not in your popular command in excel so these are the commands not in the ribbon they have been eaten in excel they are arranged in alphabetical order so let's scroll to f so the form is under letter f so i've seen it i'll click on the form and i'll click on add to so automatically to come under my group so i'll click on ok so once i click on ok i will see a tab ribbon bearing my name you can see i've customized a ribbon bearing sugar so i'll click on it sugar so you see the form under the tab so before you start you need to do highlight so highlight the column title first once you highlight the colon title, so you click on the form. Once you have clicked on the form, so you click on you say Microsoft Excel cannot determine which row in your list or selection contain the colon label which are required for this command. If you want the first row of the selection or list used as a label, not as data, click on OK. So we want this as our colon title, which is our label. So I'll click on okay so you see something like this what we call a form in excel so when once you type inside this form excel will gonna populate this template for you let's use example now let's okay first name is akiri i'm using my name as an example akiri lee oluwa shogo so you can use tab key to take you to the next box department so let's say training so you press tab key again status full time I have date let's say okay 12 slash 09 2013 click on tab key yes let's say six years tab key again salary let's say five hundred thousand let's say tab key job written nine so once you are done with the form so you click on the new record new Excel will populate. You can see you to populate your templates. Let's take on one example. Let's employ name is order by mission. Order by mission. I will type tab key department. 
let's say the department is business development business development so i'll press tab click in the next post the full-time staff full-time the next click on tab key i add it let's say 12 10 2018 i press tab key again how many years let's say one year tab key salary let's say salary is 300,000 tab key again let's job rating is three so once i'm done with the form again i'll click on new excel will populate the template again so instead of you populating the template directly so you can type on the form and excel will be populating your template so if you want to go back to the previous data that you have typed so you click on find preview find previous when you click on find previous you can see now it will take you back to the previous data so you can go and edit what you have typed before so once they are done with it you click on close that's how to use form for data caption in excel thank you for watching my video my name is akere Oluwa Shugo.